What's good? It's your boy Big Fino in this mug mug, aka Cloud Made Fino, aka God Body. You better ask somebody, aka your favorite vlogger ain't outside. It do hit different when we're inside because it's raining outside and I don't want to get my phone wet. It do hit different. But y'all see the title, man. We're going to get right into this thing. I ain't going to hold y'all up. But I ain't going to lie. I was supposed to start vlogging about 15 months ago when I first started my CDL journey. But better late than never, you know what I'm saying? We here now and we're going to start dropping freaking videos every week for y'all boys they do hit different hit that like button hit that subscribe button but i ain't gonna hold y'all up we gonna get straight into this and i want to start off with this db shanker usa truck is not a bad company at all i'm not here to bash them at all you know what i'm saying it's actually a decent company but i started with them in january i worked for them for about six months in the lease purchase program you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying the lease purchase program with them you get 70 percent of the load and the fuel surcharge so they're going to be taking 30 percent of the load and the fuel surcharge most companies don't take 30 percent of the fuel surcharge but they do i think they started doing that when they became db shanker you know what i'm saying so i started in january you know what i'm saying the loads that was on the load board in january february march where i was making good money and you know what i'm saying be able to make a profit started falling off the load board in the last couple months you know what i'm saying like the truck I had, I had a 2017 Kenworth. You know what I'm saying? It was my payment on that truck was five fifty a week. But with all the other payment, all the other fees, it came out to be like a thousand dollars a week I had to cover before I get into the profits. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to I'm I was able to cover my payment at weekly for sure. That was no problem, you know what I'm saying? Cause I drive, like you know what I'm saying? I do three thousand miles a week. I probably do about three or four loads a week, you know what I'm saying? But even with that it's hard to make a profit that's the reason i left them because it was hard to make a profit it felt like i was driving for free after a while you know what i'm saying i'm doing all this driving and i'm barely making profit. i probably make about five six hundred seven hundred dollars and i'm driving like crazy and it's like hold up like y'all i'm sitting here only reason i was surviving is because i got other ways to make money i do like trading and stock trading and all that stuff option trading to make me money so i was good but it got to a point where it's like nah i can't keep doing this like you know what i'm saying trying to make profit and don't let something happen to the truck you got to pay for that you know what i'm saying that the company might help you the leasing company you with they might help you a little bit you know what i'm saying reimburse you a little bit where the, it don't cost that much but it's still coming out your pocket in home time yeah you can pick home time whenever you want but you got to remember you got that truck payment coming up next week no matter what you do and it do hit different when you ain't did no loads and you got a truck payment coming next week you know what i'm saying and you were slave to that truck payment so you ain't gonna really be going home like that people think oh yeah i don't want to be a lease purchase officer you know what i'm saying so i can just do what i want go home when i want no you can't really do that you know what i'm saying it was cool i was with another company i'll talk about that in another video i was with another, it's a horror story to you so y'all want to stay tuned for that hit that like button hit that subscribe button because i'm gonna tell you about that horror story with that company i even tell you the name crst you know what i'm saying i'm gonna tell you about them but yeah i was with them doing team driving i was doing the lease purchase program i wasn't eligible for the lease purchase program to get it myself because i ain't had the experience so i had an another guy got the truck and put me and another person in the truck and we was driving making 33 percent of the load you know what i'm saying that was cool when we used to go home we used to go home for like 10 days it was cool because when we came back out we was able to cover our truck payments that we missed that following week because the load on the load boards were pretty good and the first load to pretty much cover the load that um that payment that we missed you know what i'm saying the first load we'll be to knock it out so the next three loads we do that week is all profit for us but with usa truck it was in, in driving solo in the race it was like it would take you all week to cover that payment you know what i'm saying because the loads on the load board wasn't that good like i'm from south carolina the best load coming out of south carolina on that load board was a load from beach island south carolina to pennsylvania about 765 miles something like that and it was like an 1800 load take the 70 percent it would be like thirteen hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars then boom you still got to pay for the diesel too so the diesel coming out your pocket too so boom you end up making about eight hundred dollars off that load something where in that ballpark figure you know what i'm saying so that's eight hundred dollar load and once you get up there though good luck finding trying to find a decent load anywhere else it do hit different when you you just got to take some trash load just to get up out that area you know what i'm saying and it'd be like that a lot it's hard to connect good loads back to back to where you can make a good profit with, with that company and i tried everything like i wasn't trying to stay in no certain area i was i was trying everything midwest texas texas got some good loads coming out of texas you know what i'm saying but once you get that good load the next place you get to it's kind of hard to find a decent load out of that that location 
So you'll get one good load in that week, but the rest of the week, you're probably going to take a whole bunch of trash loads. And like I said, USA Truck was taking the good loads off the load board, and you already know what they were doing with them. They was giving them to the company drivers, you know what I'm saying? Let the company drivers do them for cents per mile. They give them a couple hundred dollars, and they keep the rest of the racks. I got a homeboy that been driving trucks for about eight years, something like that. He told me when I first got in, like, yo, Mac, get into the percentage-based game as soon as you can. Start driving for percentage as soon as you can. Cause that cents per mile, you gonna have to drag yourself to make that money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you go, you you know what I'm saying? You eat what you kill, but if you make a fifty cents a mile, you know what I'm saying? That's half a that's a half a you know what I'm saying? A half a dollar a mile. But with percentage, you can get at a high rate. And you ain't gotta drive that many miles, and you get a big chunk of that money. And you ain't just you know what I'm saying? And it's just it's just better. It works out better. But with the rates low right now, the and the rates are low universal, not just USA truck. And it's kind of hard to make a profit. Like the rates are so low on that low board. Like it's ridiculous that they even allow the police purchase program to even go down over there. It's crazy. Like, but that's what they're making their money off of. They're not making money off the low. They're making money off people making that truck payment on their refurbished trucks every week. Cause I talk to other drivers too. Like that's what I do out my head. I talk to OG drivers, you know what I'm saying? So I can get some game, get some, learn some stuff. And I talk to other lease purchase drivers with USA truck. I'm like, are you able to make some money? Like, are you, are you making profit? They're like, they be like, no, not really. Like, I'm lucky to break even. And that's how it be a lot of weeks. You lucky to break even. You know what I'm saying? And and I be driving. I understand some drivers. I was talking to one company driver. No, not a company driver. He was an owner-operator. He actually owned his truck. And he was driving for um USA Truck. And he was saying he wasn't really making mu that much money. But as I continue to start talking to him, he doesn't drive that far either. He's from Atlanta. And he's not trying to go too far. He's trying to go to the surrounding states. Tennessee, Virginia. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it, cause it wasn't no other, there wasn't no good loads going to South Carolina or anywhere else like that. So he's not really he's trying to be home every weekend or every two days or something like that. So that's the reason why he wasn't making no money. If I would have owned my truck, oh, USA Truck would have been great. USA Truck would have been great. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have had no problem driving for them. But with that payment coming out, we I, every week I had to make a move. I had to get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to start with this new company. I'm actually in Florida right now. I'm about to pick up the truck. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do a vlog on that. And I'll let y'all know what company that I, I'm with right now. I'm actually still going to be pulling um, freight, USA truck freight. But I'm just going to be in a different situation, though. And I'm going to be in a different truck. I'm going back to a freight liner. So, with all that being said, man, USA truck, one thing I do want to say that's good about them. You get to pick your own loads. You Even as, like, as a lease purchase or company driver, they allow you to access to the load board. And you get to pick where you want to go and you know what I'm saying? And I like that. I like to know where I'm about to go, you know, so I can line my loads up. I can line up where I'm about to go. And I can also route myself back home or in a certain area about that. But that's that's the reason why I may come back once I get my own truck or finance my own truck. Because lease purchase program, man, isn't, if a lot of people like to say it's a scam, I wouldn't say it's a scam. I say do what works for you, but you can get a truck yourself. Like you get your credit straight and you drive for a company driver or something for a couple for a year or something or a couple months and stack up some money and put your own down payment down for your truck and finance your own truck that i feel like that's the best way to go and that's what i'm about to do you know what i'm saying with this new company next company i'm going to like instead of going through a lease purchase program you gotta drive for them for two to five years and then you still might have a balloon payment at the end it hit different i'm not trying to do that I'm not trying to drive for nobody for two to five years before i actually own my truck and then i don't put a million miles on, on the truck and now i got it in his mind and now it's probably about to tear up and i gotta get a lot of stuff fixed and i'm not trying to do that it do hit different but you know what i'm saying i got more vlogs coming man y'all hit that like button hit that subscribe button man we going up you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be consistent try to drop at least two vlogs a week at least one for sure you know what i'm saying i'm in florida right now i got two videos already i need to edit chop up and throw up there so y'all boy hit that like button subscribe button it's your boy big fino i'm out